We're going to do a short video today on how to install tires in a mobile home. Believe it or not, hardly anybody can do it. I've been doing this 25 years and the majority of people who work for me have a time doing it. So one thing you want to do first is all the tires nowadays are this size, 8, 14, 5s. So if you got some old tires, try to get the right size, the bigger size. Some of the older homes, you do have to have the small, but this will work on most trailers. And when you put them on, be sure you have the same size on each side of the axle. One other important thing is to make sure that the wheels are good right here, that they have it spun. Right here, you see this is spun a little bit, but it's not enough to worry with. Because if they spin, guess what? The tire's gonna fly off. It's important to put them on correctly. Um, there is fine and coarse thread axles. I know you really can't see from here, but they're both half inch, and you also have different lengths. They take a seven eight socket. Now, if you can't find some, don't get stressed out. Just run to the hardware store and get you some some hardened bolts. They'll have a three quarter head, but the threads will be the same, and you can duplicate the length. So what I've, I've already cleaned out some of these threads and put some oil in them. I've got one dirty here still. It's very important that you have your threads cleaned out because you want the wedges to sink and in, actually sink into the wheel a little bit, the rim. So what I like to do, I just take a drill with a little oil on it, a little wire brush. And I clean them out. Now you can use a tap if you want to, or you can do it by hand. Then I take my bolt with a little oil on it. It still has some on this one. I get it started, I take my impact. Now I use an electric impact. You use a battery impact, an air impact if it's strong enough. Most of them aren't strong enough. Uh, and you have to keep letting the compressor build up. So electric impact is your best bet. Okay, then I run it in all the way. Oil and be sure the threads are clean, then I'll pull it on out. Now the easiest way, most people cannot put a tire on straight, it'll fly off. So here's how you do it, how you get on correctly. You're going to take two bolts to put on first. Now look, you also have a wheel, I don't know if you can zoom in on this. You have a wheel and a rim side. The curved side goes to the rim, and this goes to the wheel. So you have to have that on correctly. If you have it upside down, guess what? Yeah, it's going to fly off. And you need all five on it. Go ahead and get two started together. Be sure you have your wedges turned the right way. And ease, go in with them. Not all the way. You're going to go in with them and you're going to leave about, come over here and get this if you can, a closer one. You're going to leave about an eighth inch gap right here. You don't want that tight, leave about an eighth inch gap on both of these. This one has to go in more. Now, just put these two wedges straight up like this and we're going to take our tire and we're just going to hang it on there it's going to stay for you so we have these two on they're not all the way tight they have an eighth inch 16th to the eighth gap just a little bit now we're going to take but this is in the way we can't have this so let me wiggle it a little bit Okay, that's out of the way. Now we're going to take one and put here, we're going to make a triangle. We're going to snug it up. Now we're going to hit this a little bit. We're going to snug them all about equal and then we're going to spin it. Okay? It really don't have a wobble. A little bit's not going to hurt. Now we're going to hit them a little harder. Now 
Kind of try to keep them even. You see, it's running straight. Now all we have to do is put our last two on. Remembering that you have your wedges the right way. Now you can do this with a lug wrench, but I wouldn't suggest it. Cut. Now one more time, spinning good. Now I'm gonna go all the way around evenly. What you're actually wanting to do, you're wanting these wedges to actually dig in to the rim. And that's very important. If not, it'll spin and it'll come off. So that's why it's so important to have the threads clean. Some people just try to run the bolt in and it'll stop and they say, oh, it's tight. Well, that's not correct. These wedges have to be tight. Now, if you have to change a tire, it's easy. You don't take them all out, just do it just the opposite. Just take out the three bottles. Tire still hanging just like it was. Pop it off. Put your other tire back on. Now maybe that'll help you.